Last week in Germany, a garage exploded, and the likely cause was an electric vehicle. On August 27, 2023, fire crews in a town just south of Dusseldorf were called to a garage with smoke showing. Shortly after their arrival, Fortunately, nobody was injured in this situation, but as crews started digging through the rubble, they found an electric vehicle that was on fire, very likely the cause of this whole incident. Now this happened in a row of detached garages, and when you start looking through the pictures, you start looking at the damage that has been done, you can tell the explosion was far more energetic than what we've seen in the past of electric vehicles causing these garages to explode. Now the way these garages are constructed, it's block walls, the mortar joints are gonna be your weak spots. They don't have a lot of structure in the roof holding those walls together. So an internal blast could easily blow those walls apart and show the type of damage we see here. Now, I can tell you right now that there's gonna be comments. There's a lot of people that seem to get offended when electric vehicles cause these types of incidents. They don't like to see that out in the media. But the fact of the matter is, if you look at the damage to the vehicle, the fact that that EV is burning, while the other cars inside that garage are not, they're very much not damaged aside from the debris, you can tell the fire came from the electric vehicle. Aside from that, the fire was in the battery of that vehicle. Now the vehicle involved is a Renault Zoe. That's a French auto manufacturer and they've got a very unique feature in their electric vehicles. It's a fireman's access. The fireman's access is a plug that can be removed. It's underneath the back seat of the vehicle and when you remove that plug, you can actually flow water inside the battery pack. Well, kind of thinking about this failure and thinking through what happened with this vehicle, it's very likely when the battery failed internally, it allowed a lot of those flammable gases to go into the interior compartment of that vehicle. Once you fill the interior of the compartment and there was likely flammable gases outside of the vehicle as well, you've now compartmentalized those gases inside the vehicle, essentially making it a bomb. Now that you can find those gases, you can see a far more energetic explosion. After talking to some experts in the field, this type of explosion really links back to some testing that NIST did back in 2010. Now it wasn't on fully electric vehicles, it was actually on hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles. And what they were testing was hydrogen leaks inside the vehicle. Inside the vehicle, under the hood of the vehicle. And there's some similarities between the testing that was done by NIST in 2010 and this event in Germany. So a couple things you can see on this vehicle when you start looking at the details. Number one, all the windows on this vehicle are blown out. The windshield, the side windows, the rear windows. Everything's blown out very likely because hydrogen flammable gases had built up inside this vehicle. The other thing to look at is this hood deformation right here. The way the hood is deformed really matches up to the testing NIST did back in 2010. So there's some clues here that give us an idea of what may have happened. One thing I'd like to address, a comment made on my video from the Colorado incident. Well, actually, hydrogen burns blue when it combusts. And to a certain degree, that's 100% true. Pure hydrogen does burn blue somewhat clear when it burns. However, when you have dirty hydrogen, you've got a lot of other gases mixed in there that are flammable as well, it does burn that yellowish color. Again, we know from the testing UL FSRI did and the event that happened in Colorado that the explosions aren't typically this catastrophic. People who witnessed this explosion in Germany reported a loud explosion, a loud sound echoing throughout the city. The only way that could have happened is if you had the confinement of gases inside that vehicle as well as you start looking at some of the other damage. For example, if you look here, you can see the glass blown out on these skylights. Or if you look over here, the missing slate roof pieces that had fallen off the building. Not to mention the overall damage done to the structure itself. Even going across the street, you can see these windows with the security curtains. The windows have been damaged by the shock wave and they're sagging, they've been knocked off their tracks. Overall, they're very fortunate nobody was injured over there, especially when you look at the debris field, the way that garage blew apart. Hopefully this isn't something that we start seeing more frequently. Hopefully these are isolated incidents between the one in Germany, the one in Colorado. However, we're starting to get a couple of these a year. And as electric vehicles start to age, as we start seeing more on the road, as we start collecting more data, we may start to see these types of incidents. 
If you'd like to stay up to date with the latest information, be sure to subscribe to my channel.